Okay, so now we covered how the server and client interact with areas. Kind of going back to my diagram here, we've covered uh, what the loading does, how Getty Area works, the area, how it manages the reference to the world, the height map, all the list of clients, getting the height, the height map to what the byte variable uh, for the height map is with the image, uh, the compressed, um, creating, I didn't talk about, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, this create function right now is called from the load set areas function, and right now it passes the, the bison material map, the grass you're used to, and it creates it all blank, 128 level, uh, get height, straight, pretty straightforward, height change, we talked about a second ago, it's actually changing it, uh, whether it's been changed or not, what the delta is. Uh, with the clients, there's two, the client game and the client itself. The client game simply manages whether to add and remove them from areas, the client itself has which areas are currently loaded and not loaded for each client, so it knows which ones. To, and again, important to realize here is this is a manually managed world as opposed to normal essential where it all is taken care of for you. You need to make sure you load and unload areas within the actual client itself on the server. Um, the position of the character, obviously. The world reference is really important. If you want to do any reference to the world, this world function gives you a pointer to the world. Uh, a net object position is, you know, within the essential framework, just the position of the current character. Uh, getting desired areas is a function that just tells you with it what areas are within sight, and distribute pushes any updates to objects, world, height map, anything to all the clients. It's one stop shopping for a distribute. So it's a pretty. We covered most of the basics. Um, what I really want to do now is jump into. What if you wanted to create your own height map in the essential editor? and then import that into the Enesis framework. So to do that, going back to our diagram here, the logical place to do that is actually right after the set world areas function. Because the server started, it's created the world and all the custom headers, it's loaded in the default 128 blank height map. What we can do now from here is before it's, uh, uh, sorry, after it's loaded from storage, right before it goes online, we can say, you know what, I'm going to pass you this reference to a custom world I've made. Update all the heights the same way that this this client does down here. Update all of them to this position that I want you to do it. So I'm actually going to hop into a central right now and show you how I've made that work. Um, now in this constants folder, there's a couple of things I did first to make it easier myself. The view range at 100 is pretty small. I made it 1,000 just so I could see what I was doing. And the other important piece here is this height map scale. Uh, you don't know this, but the Aeneas height maps are scaled down to uh, you know uh, eight tenths of of the normal height map so what you want to do is just make this 1.0 so that it looks exactly like it does in the editor otherwise it's not going to uh, look right it's going to be smushed down and smaller than you want it to be uh, so what we also want to do is we need to create a pointer for our new world so I'm going to create a pointer to uh, editor world and it's going to be UID I'm going to get in a second. So I'm going to go into Enesis here. Uh, this is going to load a new folder for worlds. And in that world folder, I'm going to create a new world. Uh, test world. And important thing to get area size here, you can see the area size uh, on this is 64, which is fantastic. Uh, the height map resolution though is not 64, it's 32. So make sure you drop that down to 32 to match this, and then press OK. Now, the Venus world you can see here is a 6 by 6 area, uh, with actually a 7th bordering it, because when you hit those walls all over the place, uh, you can see one more area, so you don't see like off a cliff. So there's actually 7 by 7 area. Actually, one more thing I'm going to do here is uh, on the world bounds. I'm going to actually set the height to be uh, 256. So when I um, am looking at the world from above, 32 is pretty low. I want to be able to fly higher up. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. So go to my test world. And this is the simple editor if you haven't used it. Uh, there's plenty of things to use that on how to use this. I'm just create a radius of 7 here. And I'm going to grab my materials. the default grass one, uh, change the terrain, grass goes here, grass goes here, I'm going to add it to all of these areas, just 
just want to fill in all of these. So again, I'm just creating a custom 7x7 world just like Enius' likes. And so once I have my areas all filled in, oops, it's freezing on me, sorry. Start with that. I want to have all my areas filled in. Now I'm basically free to edit it like I would any other normal world. So I'm going to use my up and down level tool, get my speed OK, change my uh, terrain. Where's my size? Okay, I'll do bigger than this. Relative size, smaller. So I'm just going to create a little world here. Maybe a little smiley face is always fun to play with. So to the peaks and then we'll, we'll make it a little smaller actually. Uh, up a little smaller. So a very simple smiley face. Nothing nothing fancy. So um, now I'm going to back to my code. I'm going to drop this world into the UID. So now I have my world in there. Uh, for a reason, I like to do this. I don't know why I'm weird that way. Okay, so now I have a reference to my editor world. And what I want to do, as I mentioned, kind of going back to my diagram, is the start server function is what does all this work. So I need to go edit that to make one extra call to load this area in. So what we're going to do is hop into uh, Central really quickly and see how we can get this done. So uh, what you want to do is go into the, client, the server world file and find this init world function. Now what this does is a couple of things. First, it overloads the net worlds class with our custom world class as kind of the holder for all the areas. And then it sets the world areas here. Uh, and this basically just iterates through all the areas of the world and sets the height map material to the grass and the height to 128, which is zero in the thesis. Uh, and then it goes ahead and loads the world, which will load all the objects and grass and height map from anything saved from a previous session of Emesis. So what we're going to do after this actually is go ahead and create a new function. We're going to call load editor world, and it's going to take in the same main world UID as reference. So what we want to do essentially is go ahead and create a new function right here. Uh, I've pre-typed it for a time. So what this was going to do is first create a custom pointer to our main world UID that Anesis creates. Uh, and then set the game world mode to manual. Now this is important because Anesis, uh, we don't want essentially to think it has to maintain all the areas loading and unloading for us because we're going to be doing that manually. So what we want to do is tell it we're going to be man loading all the worlds manually, not to do it based on the center of action. Once we do that, and it's important to do that first, you can then load in the editor world we created together, the little smiley face. Now that's loaded to memory, we can go through each of the areas and start looking at the height map information. Now the areas is in the constants file. It's that uh, 6 value, which is actually 7 because we have that extra uh, area around each edge so that you don't fall off the edge of the world. So it's 7 by 7, so it's going to iterate through the 7 by 7 cube uh, and uh, bring up each area to find the height of information. So as you're going through each area uh, with this vector reference, the first thing you want to do is create reference to this memory, uh, continuous memory called area states. Now in Ascentful, the only way to, s in, in the manual editor mode, the only way to set the area states in the, is in the world manager in this uh, area state section. So from here you can say whether the area is unloaded, cached, inactive, active, or loaded. Area load is what we're going to be using in the manual world state to uh, load and unload our areas. So going back. Um, so once I create that area states, I'm going to create a new one and set it to the A, which is starts as negative 7, negative 7, and give it type area loaded. Once I do that, I'm going to go to the world and say set all area states to just this one in this case. You can do more than one, but I just chose one. And this true boolean will tell it to 
unload all the remaining areas. So I only want to work on one at a time, so you can unload everything except the one I'm working on. Uh, once I do that, I can now get a pointer to my area. So this is the area of the essential default, you know, the area function within essential headers. So I can create that area reference here by using the area loaded function for again negative seven, negative seven. And then I can use the area, uh, an, a new area. This is our area within uh, Anesis, the area uh, class it created. And I want to create a pointer to the get world, get area, custom world at negative seven, negative seven. So now that I have these side by side, I have the pointer to the as the editor area and the enesis area. And with these two together, I can start transferring the height map from one to the other. So the first thing I want to do is in my editor area, get the height map information in an image, which I can do here. So once I have that image reference, what I'm going to do is simply start from the from zero zero of the image, go all the way to the resolution plus one, which is 32 plus one, which is 33. So I'm going to go through each pixel of the image and copy that pixel data from the editor to the Enesis custom area height map. So I do that by doing the, air, the data dot height map to get the height map information which is our height map 2 uh, class. The set area function uh, at pixel location you know it starts in again negative 7 negative negative 7 uh, and I'll do the, the area which is the editor area dot data dot height dot pixel flat and grab it and then actually add 128 for it because in Enesis 128 is 0 where in the editor 0 is 0 so just to translate it to the Enesis format and that's really it you just iterate through each of the areas uh, grab the height map and then iterate through each pixel and upload it that's all you really have to do at the end I delete the world because we don't really need the editor world anymore we've copied it all over so just free it from memory and uh, let's go ahead and see if that worked for us uh, you know what, before we continue, let's uh, do one last thing. Let's hop into our client and do control F on fly. Uh, by default, only admins can fly, but that's super boring. Let's go ahead and change that so everybody can fly. Uh, and that should do it for it. Let's, uh, let's compile this and see if it worked. So uh, go back to server, compile, cross your fingers. It's always important. Server has loaded. That's good news. Uh, hop back into client. Let's play that one. Start crossing fingers. Okay, uh, let's create a new account. One, two, three, four. Don't copy my password, please. Okay. Enough. Register. Fantastic. Okay. New character. Play. And that looks good. Look at that. Uh, hop into my fly mode. And see my little smiley face. Looks like it's there. Yeah, it's uh, it loaded correctly. Uh, you can see here the the tops are cut off because I went higher than uh, 256 pixels, uh, which I can fix in the editor later. But yeah, essentially it's there. I don't know why this um. Areas are like that. That happens sometimes. I have to investigate that. But essentially, you can see it. Uh, it worked. Perhaps it's been a little quiet and tasty, but that's all you really have to do. Uh, you can still edit all the areas like you could before. If I head down here, I still can raise and lower. Uh, you'll see it's actually more exaggerated now because I set that height map from you know, eight tenths to one to one, so it's a little more exaggerated. But uh, it all still works. So that is how you can load a custom height map into the Enesis world from the editor. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please feel free to send me any messages on the Essential community. Uh, my name is Osmodian, and uh, have a great day. Thank you.